So what you just heard was sound coming straight from the Steam Deck on Windows 11. In my previous video, I mentioned how the worst part about Windows 11 or 10 is that we have no audio and that has changed as of yesterday. So now you can download audio drivers or if you're on SteamOS and no sound is what was holding you back from using Windows 10 or 11 on your Steam Deck, now you can have sound, so that's no problem. Uh, it is nice to see the rollout of driver updates for Windows support on the Steam Deck. I don't feel like they had to do that at all and they could have just left us in the dark but they are providing us with uh, updates and they're pretty you know it took two months or whatever for me it wasn't that long because I was Q2 so I was only running Windows without audio for maybe two weeks so now that's nice to see that I can play my games without wearing headphones the headphone port on top is now also supported all of the drivers that you need in order to have your fully functioning Windows uh, device is on the Steam Deck resource page on Steam. I will leave a link to that in the description. If you guys need any help or anything, drop comments. I did have a little bit of trouble installing. I needed a, like an updated version of PowerShell. It wasn't giving me the option to install the, the drivers, so I had to go a little bit out of my way, and I'm sorry that I couldn't show you that. It was a little bit situational, so if you run into anything like that, just ask questions. Uh, go on Reddit, hopefully one of us can help you guys. But it is nice to see that this is fully functioning. Hopefully it works for you guys as well. If you want to run Windows 10 or 11, uh, you can, and you can have audio now. So there's not really anything drawing me away from it anymore. That was like a thing I had to get past when I was switching from SteamOS to Windows 11. I was like, man, I'm gonna have to play all my games with headphones now, there's literally no sound. The other day I plugged in an adapter and we were playing four players on a fighting game on the TV, but we had no sound, so that was kind of a bummer. But now we have sound, so it's no issues at all. But yeah, make sure you head over to the Steam resource page directly on your Steam Deck and download the drivers. I don't know what I just opened there, but the Steam resource page is right here. Like I said, link in description, follow the instructions. Make sure if you're running uh, Windows already to download the first APU drivers, or you'll be like me, I downloaded the two drivers without downloading the APU driver, and then I couldn't do anything. There was still no sound. So make sure you follow the steps and read carefully on the website. Uh, but yeah, it's not that complicated, it's pretty easy. That's pretty much it for this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that we now have audio, we have sound, it is fixed, and it works. Uh, I was having an issue though, where I only had sound coming from one speaker, so I'm gonna see what that's about. If you run into that, maybe one of the drivers didn't download, or maybe I'll have to go into BIOS, or who knows what. I'll figure it out and update in the next video to tell you guys if what went wrong, or if I have anything to say about it. But for now, I've been just playing games and seeing, you know, the sound working. Uh, it was weird before. I was literally playing this thing with no sound and it didn't bother me because I was playing when everyone was asleep at night or I was playing with headphones, so. But you know, sometimes you just wanna hold this and listen to the game through the actual device. Last night I was playing The Witcher 3 and I did play for a little bit longer simply because I could actually hear the game. So, pretty awesome. Hopefully they keep helping us out and supporting us with new drivers and updates that help Windows run better. I have ran into like some minor glitches or bugs or weird things that have happened uh, ever since I downloaded the sound drivers, but nothing crazy or game breaking. If anything, I just restarted my device and went from there, but uh, I can see some performance issues and hopefully in general with Windows there are just issues here and there. But in my last video, I said it wasn't anything crazy that would drive me away from it and run my device as a SteamOS device. But the next thing is dual boot. Hopefully we get the uh, update on that so that we can actually easily dual boot from the Steam Deck menu or whatever, the BIOS menu, so that we can choose Windows or SteamOS because that's what I would like to do. Because I do like the Steam overlay. I know you can put it on Windows somehow, but... I would like to just actually use the, the, the Steam Deck as it was intended to be used, but for now I'm using it as a PC and I have no problem with it. I said that a lot in the last video, but it's true, like, it's a little PC and it now has sound. Only issue I have right now is my screen protector. I'm going to look for a new one because sometimes when I'm touching the screen, uh, it doesn't react to the touch, it doesn't register what's going on. I talked about all that in the last video. This video is just about the sound drivers. Make sure you guys download those. I will see you guys on the next video.